the country, and its military vehicles will be a legitimate target. This has been a Gulf War update. If you cannot afford an attorney, well, I never came here wanting force. to hurt you anybody, and I'm not responsible well, for that. Not at all, Jake. Now, come on, you got to believe me. Well, why should I tell me? Why shouldn't I think that you tried to kill Hunter? Daddy, answer me. Please answer me. What's going on? Something, some kind of a fight. Something's wrong. Where are you? Is he still on? <laughs> yes, he's he's far away from the phone now. Nat? Nat! Do you hear anything? No, no, there's nothing. <sighs> okay, so you must have called, and then somebody must have jumped up and called the police. No! Hello, CJ. Hello, please leave us alone. As I said, uh, San Francisco is a very lovely city. I could be quite comfortable living there. Tina, you didn't actually leave Landview thinking I wouldn't know about it, did you? I prayed that I could. Don't ever try running away from me. Surely you must know I'd go to the ends of the earth to find my grandchild, the baby you're carrying. Carlo, you've got to stop hounding me before I lose my mind. You really do. Sign the adoption no. papers. If you refuse, I'll uh, go on this uh, flight with you. Yeah, yeah. It'll uh, give me a chance to uh, get to know my grandchild's half-brother better. There's only one way you'll be free of me, Tina. Here's what to do when you don't find the rainbows in this time. Call the police, Alex. Oh, what has gotten into you? My father is in serious trouble. He is in not real danger. Cops. Not the cops. Not now. Why? Because if your dad wanted the police involved in all this, he would have called them a long time ago. But this is different. He is in real danger now. He could be in a lot worse trouble if he calls the police. Carlo Hester's trying to get his hands on that drug that's your father's now that he perfected it. I know all that. What's that got to do with Carlo it? Has got, he has moles in the police department. Oh, we have contacts, too. Now, this telephone call could mean that Carlo has finally caught up with my father. I, what did he say just before the interruption? Uh, he, he called my name. He just called my name. Yeah, but did, were there any other voices in the background? No, any? just his. I just heard of boxes and crates and a whole lot of scuffling. Okay, did he call here to ask for help? No. No, I really think they surprised him. Uh, Why, what is it? He called you, Alex. He, ne he never wanted to do that. He didn't want you involved in this right from the start. It means he was desperate. That's right. Maybe he's afraid he's never going to see me again. What did he say, though, Alex, exactly, just before he had to stop talking? He was... He was breathing really hard. <gasps> he was in a huge hurry. Okay, but, but he, about meeting him someplace. Yes, he, that's it, that's right. Did you find out where? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's when Good. he screamed. Give me the address, then I'm going no, over No, I've got it. Let's go. No, no, you're not going. I am definitely going with you. Alex, he doesn't want you involved in this. He's just too dangerous. Look, I am sick and tired of people trying to protect me. Now, he is my father. I don't care where he is. I'm going to find we him. We don't I'm even know go. if he's going to be there. Well, if he is there, I want to be there. Get your coat, then. Come on, we don't have time to argue. I never wanted to hurt him. If I wanted to hurt him, I would have clipped him in the jaw the moment you guys walked in here. Besides, I have no idea how to rig up something like that. It doesn't take a genius to do it. You know me better than that, don't you? Do I? Yes! Maybe I don't know you well enough anymore, Jake, to believe you now. Oh, come on. Look at after everything we've been through together. Yeah, we've been through some terrible things together because I believed you. Or have you forgotten that? Megan, this is attempted murder we're talking about. Well, I don't know. You've been acting very strangely lately. So out of character, out of control. I... I'm not out of control. Life's out of control, but not me, okay? Listen, I may be a lot of things, but I am not a murderer. Jake! What? I'm talking to Megan here. Just give me a you, second. She's already answered your question, Jake. What are you trying to do? Get another answer from her? Look, at this whole idea about something like this, me pulling a stunt like this is stupid. It's crazy. Yeah? Well, there's a few facts, Jake. Fact. The chain was cut. 
fact. You're the only one who had access before it fell. And fact, there were wire cutters in your jacket. I don't know how the wire cutters got there, pal. And as far as access to this thing, everybody in the studio had access to this thing before I showed up to talk to him. Oh, I can't believe it. I could kick myself for trying to make peace with this man. Yes, officers, I invited him here. I was set to talk, but gee, I don't know. I just didn't think he could turn out to be a killer. You got company in that area, Megan. Well, it doesn't help to know that. If Megan has doubts, I have doubts. You really still doubt me? You don't believe me? Well, that fan hit your head. You, you'd be dead, and you wouldn't have many doubts then, would you? Will you get him out of here? What's up? Wait, wait. Oh, Carlo, please, I don't want to upset CJ. I understand. I don't want to upset him either. One more big pie, then. You know, honey, we're not flying yet. We will real soon. You still have time to get off this plane, Carlo. Your destination is my destination. I really have got to have some peace. I really do. I've already offered you that. At a terrible price, you want to take my baby away from me. CJ. CJ. Listen, honey, I'm going to talk to Mr. Hesser, okay? Look out the window. You see that big plane coming in? Just look out the window over there, okay? Watch it come in. Carlo, I promise you, when I... I'll get to San Francisco and I have the baby, I'll call you. I'll arrange visitation rights. I'll do everything. You, you don't have to worry about anything, Carlo, but right now I just need to have some peace. I really do. I'm just really... I feel like I'm going to fall apart, okay? I know. And it's not good for you or the baby. If you'd only face the fact there's no way out for you, oh. Tina. Now, I'm willing to keep you from going to prison. But I can also have you arrested. It's a no-win for you, Tina. And don't think uh, Vicky is going to be perjuring herself to save you. Now, I wish you wouldn't force me to go on like this. But I must. I'll see to it that the intruder and every newspaper in the city learns that your sister knew about the hit-and-run accident and was covering for you. Do you want to see that happen to Vicky? Do you know what'll happen to her life? Do you know what'll happen to her life in Lineview? It'll be absolutely ruined. Absolutely destroyed. And you'll be uh, ruining his life, too. Yes? Running away from your family and his father? The impact of what you've done will reach everyone. And what's going to happen, huh? When uh, the uh, police find out that Renee was lying to protect you? You wouldn't do that to Renee. You have done it, Tina. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be pulling away from the gate shortly. Come on. Please Let's make go. sure your seatbelt is fastened go. and your seat train table on a high position. Oh, oh. Run you down to the hospital. Take a look at that shoulder, all right? It's okay. It's just bruised. Hey, I don't like to see my director and my leading actor in pain, okay? <sighs> look, I appreciate your concern. If it really hurt, I'd tell you, Chad. Listen, I promise you, I promise both of you that Jake Harrison will not take another step onto this soundstage. If he gets, if he makes bail, I'll just get a restraining order. I'll re this must be very hard on you. I am sorry I invited Jake Harrison here. I really am. Hey, sure that arm's all right? <clears throat> yeah. You'll be stiff as a devil tomorrow, but that's all. I'm sorry you had to go through all of this. Well, better my shoulder than my head, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it really would have been murder. Look, from what you know of Jake, do you really think that he's capable of... well, of... doing what almost happened here? Well, it's not like 
Jake and I are old friends. So it's not hard for me to fight the facts. You know, he had a motive and an opportunity. I don't like saying these things to you, Megan. Look, you're just answering my question. Well, a good lawyer could build a defense. Based on what? Based on his actions at the Hell Spa, when he tied up the masseur just to be with you. That's not the act of a rational man. I can't keep avoiding the truth. I have to face the facts at some point. And the fact is that Jake could be guilty of attempted murder. There, I said it. You don't feel any better saying it, do you? Well, I think we ought to stop talking about this for a while. Yeah, it's just hard for me to stop thinking about it. Well, if you get some rest, <clears throat> maybe you can do that. Come on. I'll take you home. Hunter. What? All that's happened here today, it's not Jake's fault, you know. It's mine. Anybody's been living here. You sure this is the right address? Absolutely. I can't stand this anymore. Daddy! No, shh! What? what? If anybody else is in this warehouse, I don't want them knowing that you're here. Too late. Yeah, I know. Well, if he's hurt, he's not going to be able to hear us. Okay, so we're going to take a look around, and we're going to take it slow and careful. Okay. Absolutely freezing. It's depressing. I wonder. Uh, what? I wonder if he made the call from another place and he just wanted to use this as like uh, a meeting place. Do you hear that noise? Yeah, it's probably rats. Is that scary? No, actually, your people scare me rats. Don't. See a phone around here anywhere? No. Maybe it's your dad's. Right. You know, if you'd let me call the police, I could find out where this phone is, who's... We can't do that. No, no, I think we'd be making a mistake if we did that. We just have... We have to wait until we can hear from your dad. He has to direct every move that we make. He may not be able to direct our moves much longer. I know. So we know that this is where he called from, and this is where he wanted us to meet him. Okay. So... Bo, look! It's blood. It's a trail of blood. Okay, all right, you stay here. No! Oh, no! You do what I tell no, you. if he's hurt, he's gonna need me. I ran into Tina at the airport. She collapsed, so I brought her here in my car rather than wait for the ambulance. Oh, Brenda, take CJ away from that man, please. Would you? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Come here, CJ. Come here. Come Don't worry, me. CJ. We'll Come take good care of you. Come on, let's move it. In here. Hey, I haven't been drinking. 
scared about taking care of myself. I'm really sorry. All right, take it easy. Just relax. Let's get her up on the gurney. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's it. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right, I'll be right back. Just take it. I want to call Cord. I think the baby's on its way. What do you mean it's your fault? You had nothing to do with this injury, Megan. I'm, I'm responsible for Jake's behavior. What? I, I'm realizing that now. How? Jake would never have gotten involved with Charlotte if he hadn't been trying to find my sister, Sarah. I know you've heard bits and pieces about why Jake married Charlotte in the first place. The important thing to know is that right from the start, he told her that it was a marriage in name only. Yeah, well, you seem to forget that I was there when you heard Charlotte talking about the change in that setup. Hey, well, forget about all of that. Jake stayed married to Charlotte because he is a decent, caring person. I know I've said a lot of horrible things about him, but you can't discount the good things about him. I just feel like he wouldn't have gone through half of what he's gone through if it weren't for me. Well, it's absolutely absurd for you to take any of the blame for what happened here today. Yeah, I just feel like I've betrayed him. You haven't. From everything you've told me, you've gone way out of your way to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. You told me about all the times he's let you down. Look, maybe I got the wrong impression. I mean, did I misunderstand something here? No. Why can't being in love be easier? It is for some people. Well, maybe it's just me. A little help from Jake. Do you know what we're doing here? I know what I'm doing. I'm standing here complaining about everything. No, I didn't mean that. Sure, you're agonizing over Jake. But look, you know, we've got to realize that we can't be too objective about Jake right now. A crime was committed here today. All we can do is let the police do their job, investigate, and draw their own conclusions. Well, I'd be willing to do that if... What? Well, if I didn't feel like I should give Jake more of a chance to explain himself. I don't want him back in my life. I just feel that I should see him. I'm afraid that he's going to do something desperate. You really want to see him? Yes. I'll go with you. Well, no, Hunter, no. I appreciate it, but I, I have to do this alone. OK. But why don't you get some rest first? I'll rest after I talk to Jake. Prisoner's been processed, sir. Okay. I want to talk to him for a minute. What time is he supposed to be arraigned? In about an hour. Why don't you wait outside? And I don't want any interruptions for the next few minutes. Yes, sir. I heard what happened. I was set up, Rafe. I was completely set up. Hey, listen, you were read your rights. You don't have to talk to me at all if you don't want to. I know, I know, I know. But I'm going to be telling you the truth, so I shouldn't be afraid of talking, should I? OK. OK. OK, I'll start from the beginning. I was banned from the set the other day. And I admit, I admit they had good reason to ban me. What reason? I went down to the set. Okay, and I saw them shooting a scene. Megan was doing a nude love scene. And of course, I blew my top, and then they bounced me out of my ear. Yeah, I, I heard something about this. <clears throat> yeah, but then there's this funny thing that happened. Chad Cummings, the producer of this picture, he calls me up, invites me down to the set so we can talk things over, he tells me. He invited you to the set after you'd been banned? Right. Starting to get the picture here? He invites me to the set. Not to his office, not someplace else, but to the set. That's what he suggested to me. To talk about Megan. Yeah, but that was handled the day before. I mean, next thing I know, he's tricked me into coming down to the set. I'm brought here right after that, charged with uh, reckless endangerment and aggravated assault. I mean, obviously, Rafe, I was set up. 
What if this whole situation was handled, then what possible motive would he have for setting you up? Let's just say he has a motive, okay? Can you take my word on that one? Jake, right now, very few people are going to take your word for anything. Would you like me to level with you? Yeah. You have a motive, which is pretty well known here in Landview. It's Megan. Everybody knows that you both split up and, and why. So you think I would try to kill Hunter because of that? What I think doesn't matter, but a prosecutor could build a strong motive in a case against you. Yeah. Megan and Hunter have a romantic past, and it might seem to a lot of people that they've started up again. You know me pretty well by now, don't you? No, yeah, that's why we're having this little talk. Could you take my word on something here? Well, that depends on what it is. All right, if I was to tell you what I know about Chad Cummings, I'm afraid if certain people found out about that, then, well, my life would be in danger, and so would somebody else's, and more importantly. There's some big gaps in your state. Yeah, I, I realize that, but that's the way it's got to be. Well, I can't take your word for something if I don't, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, but I can't tell anything more than that right now. Well, you better be able to tell a lawyer when you get one. I don't even think I can tell a lawyer that. Jake. You're going to make it impossible to defend you. Oh, well, they'd like to see me put away... Now, who is they? I... Never mind, you can't tell me, right? Yeah. Listen, you better find someone you can trust and fast. Yeah. You're entitled to a phone call. I recommend that you call a lawyer. I call Lucky. What? Well, I want to call Lucky. I mean, that's the person I'd like to call right now. No. Yes. I'm not leaving here until I search the would, entire would place. I just won't. Teresa. Not if it means we're not going to do a thorough search, Bo. No. But just listen to me. We, we're not armed, Alex. Whoever's responsible for that bottle of blood just might still be in this warehouse. My father might still be in this warehouse. He might be hurt. He might be dying. This just might not be your father's blood. Have you thought of that? Huh? Yes. That's what I'm praying for. I'm sorry. I know. Look, I know this is tough on you. Look, whatever I'm going through isn't anything compared to what my father's going through. Okay, well, I owe it to him to keep you safe. I owe it to you, too. I'm sorry. I have to search this place. I just have to. Okay, well, you're not going to do it alone? Come on, let's go. Thank you. Brenda, hi. How's hey. Tina doing? Where is she? Can I see her? Well, no, you'll have to wait a minute. Larry's examining her right now. Listen, I appreciate you calling me over at Banner. I really do. Now, you, you said CJ was here. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's in the cafeteria with uh, one of the nurses, okay? Oh, great. Listen, what about Tina's baby? We don't know yet. Oh, boy. If she loses this child, I don't know what it's going to do to her. When did this happen? And, and where was she? She was at the airport when she collapsed. At the airport? Yeah, with CJ. And Carlo Hesser brought her here in Carlo. his limousine. You. I'm glad I could be of assistance. What was Tina doing at the airport? What were you doing there with her? Larry, what's going on? How's Tina? How's the baby? All right, first of all, Tina's contractions have subsided. Thank God for that. How's Tina? Well, here's the story, Cordy. Her blood pressure is extremely high, and that worries me. I'd like to keep her here until the baby's born. Definitely. That sounds like a good idea. We should okay. do it. Great. I will call admissions and get her a room. Great. Uh, can I see her? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just for a little while. Don't upset her. You don't right. need any more stress. Hi. Larry says I have to stay here. Why, well, I know. He told me that out in the hall. You know, I think that's a good idea. I think you should stay. Except, um... Except I think I want to go home and rest there. No, Tina, come on. Now, you haven't been taking good care of yourself at home, though. Larry says you got high blood pressure, all right? He wants to keep an eye on you. No, Court, I can't stay here. I can't. Tina, you have to for no. yourself and for the baby. No, you don't understand. Yes, I do. Court, I have to get out of here, really. I have to get out of no. here. Just let me get no, out of here, no, come please. come on. Take it easy. Court. Just relax. No, let me up, no, Court. I, let me it's up. It's not going to happen, Tina. I'm not going to let you go. Now, why are you getting so upset about this? What is going on? What were you doing at the airport? A and why was Carlo Hester there? I, uh, I was at the airport because I was gonna go meet a friend of mine who was changing planes here, and, and... She, 
I, I just thought it would be a nice thing to do, a nice way to pass the time, and I took CJ with me. I wanted her to meet CJ. And Carlo Hesser just happened to be there, too? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I didn't see him when I got there. I guess he flies in and out all the time in court. I really, I really want to talk to you about staying here. I don't no, want to hey, stay here. I really Tina, don't. it's a done deal. You're going to stay. Boy, I tell you, I wish I'd kept a better eye on you when I moved into that apartment across from you. Maybe this never would have happened. You can't. Don't even think of blaming yourself for anything. Carlo's the one who's been driving me to the edge. Hey, listen, you don't have to worry about Carlo anymore, Tina. Not since we took care of the car. All right? So, so forget about Carlo. What I want you to do is concentrate on having a happy and a healthy baby. That's all I want. Well, all you want is exactly what you're going to get, okay? Excuse me, Claude. Hey, Brenda, uh, you going to give me the bumps rush here? No, I'm not. Two things. Kim came and took CJ home, ah, so he's great. okay. Thank and you. you have a phone call, and you can take it right there on that phone, okay? Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Oh, too late. Thanks, Brenda. <sighs> all right, listen. That's the only thing. I want you to worry about CJ, okay? He's going to be just fine because I'm going to take care of him. He's going to be with us today. We're going to have a great time. He's going to like that. Yeah, he's good. Now, listen, you just take it easy. I'll be right back. Hello? Yeah, Cord Roberts here. No, I, I don't know why I would say that. Well, no, I, I don't know what it means, but I will figure it out. Yeah, thanks. No, she's doing fine. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, Tina. I don't get it. Don't get what? Where were you going? Where was I going? Yes. That was a message from the babysitter saying that I was to expect a call from you in eight to ten hours. Megan home. No. Well, she's gone? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm looking at this chain where it's been cut. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm thinking, you might say rethinking this accident. Well, it was no accident, that's for sure. It was meant to look like one. Yeah. Jake didn't get away with it. You're shaking your head. What's going on here? I'm thinking about some things Megan said about Jake. And trying to put some facts together. They are together. It's quite clear. Now, there's one fact I keep stumbling on. Which one? Well, since you invited Jake here to talk, he couldn't have planned this. What, a guy tries to kill you, maybe severely injure you. What, are you going to offer up a defense? What, are you was attorney or something? Come Look, on. hear me out. Okay. Hey, go Look, ahead. Jake didn't have time to do this. Somebody else did it. Jake Harris is the only one who had a clear-cut motive. Uh-huh. I mean, he is a jealous man, and he hates you. He thinks you coerced Megan into doing that nudity, and he totally flipped out, babe. You know? That is not enough motive to kill somebody. Right. Right. He just... Happen to be carrying along a pair of wire cutters. Huh? Listen, you stick to acting and directing. You let the police do the police work, okay? Look, I think Jake was set up. <laughs> Who would set him up? I'm telling you, Jake is the only one with a motive to kill you. Well, maybe somebody had a motive to get Jake. Jake? Jake? Jake Harrison? He's nothing. He's nobody. Well, have you finished the revised shooting schedule for Thursday and Friday? No. Well, I, I mean, come on. People are waiting for those things, you know. Yeah. I'll get to it right away. Hey, you, uh, you forget Jake Harrison, okay? I'd like to. All right. Go home. Take care of that arm. Oh, God, what am I... Yes. Hello. May I speak with uh, Mr. Carlo Hesser, please? Oh, I see. No, no, no. No. Thank you. No message. Okay, bye-bye. This 
picture is becoming more than I bargained for. Thanks for showing up so fast. I don't believe this. Believe it, I'm here. You guys want a couple minutes to talk, I'll give it to you. Thanks. Okay. Jake, I strongly advise you again to call a lawyer. It's hard for me to believe that I need one. You do. Yeah. This cop's just outside this door. Hey, listen, I appreciate you giving me a few minutes with him. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. All right. Is there anything else that happened that you didn't tell me on the phone? Nothing I can think of. Oh, boy. Well, I can't. I couldn't imagine being up on a murder charge. Aggravated assault. Reckless endangerment. Let's get it straight. Oh, okay. Calm down. But the thing that's killing me is Megan actually believes that I'm guilty. She couldn't. She couldn't. She does, believe me. And she's uh, got good reason, too. There's not good enough reason in the world for her to think that you would take that hunter. Oh, no. I've been doing some pretty weird things lately, Lucky. Well, she probably just thinks I flipped out. I'm sure that's what Rafe thinks. I mean, I can't tell him that Carlo's involved in the picture, but I sit here and try to convince him like an idiot that uh, I was framed, but I can't tell him why I was set up. All right, listen, I'll go find Megan and, and tell her the whole story, okay? She's not going to listen to you. She knows you're my pal, that you would lie through your teeth to protect me. Hey, I'll tell her, I'll give her an oath, a Boy Scout oath. Were you ever a Boy Scout? Oh, no, I couldn't pass the physical. What a surprise. Listen, no, it's going to take a lot more than just words to convince her about this. What, then? Well, first of all, I got to get out of this place. I gotta find the guy who cut that chain, and then maybe I'll be able to convince her of my innocence and everybody else, and then maybe things will get back to normal between the two of us. If you prove you're innocent, I don't see any maybe about it, pal. Listen, but I can't wait around to find out if they're gonna let me out on bail or not, you know? Okay, well, Jake, take it easy. I mean, you won't lose Megan. I know, I know, but the most important thing right now is making sure nothing happens to her. That's true, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll agree with that. And. Part of protecting her is convincing her that she's really in danger, and I don't think words are going to cut it right now. Well, what will? Like I said, I get out of here, I find the guy who cut the chain, then maybe she'll believe me and know that they're really playing for high stakes here. Well, how are you going to do that behind bars? That's why I called you, pal of mine, instead of a lawyer. You're going to do me a favor. Hey, you name it. Give me your pants. You want my pants? Yeah, come on, pal, come on. May I ask why? I don't have time for questions, otherwise I tell you. Oh, you have no time. You want me to take my clothes off in a police yeah. station with no questions asked? More or less. Just, you gotta trust me on this one. Are hey, you feeling all right? I'd feel even better if you just do me this favor. Come on. Hey, I'll do you a favor, bud, as far as my faith is being stretched here, you know? Yeah, and while you're stretching it, can you uh, do me another, another favor? I mean, would you be willing to spend a couple nights in the joint for me? A couple of nights in jail? Yeah. What? Get the picture. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's coming in loud and clear here. You want to switch places with me, huh? That's right. And when also you want to take my cap, huh? All of it. Oh, hmm. Okay, well, I got one question, and you better answer it. What is it? Would I be involved in anything illegal here? Hmm? <sighs> Obstruction of justice, maybe. No. Oh, thanks. But, I mean, well, no big deal. Listen, as long as I can prove that I'm innocent, then nothing will happen to you. Oh, well, listen. I've got a personal problem here about that. What's that? See, this is a very inconvenient time for me to be in the joint. I mean, I just bought the stoplight. Come on. I'm working Come night on. and day for just the a reopening. Couple of nights, one, two. Oh, a couple, couple of nights. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about if a slip up? No slip ups. Not with me. Oh, don't no slip. Up. Well, can we discuss the possibility of a slip up? I would love to discuss it, but as it is, I don't have the time. Oh, you don't have time, but no, you wanted me to take my clothes off and stay in jail, huh? And you don't have time to answer my questions. Well, what about if Rafe comes in here and he finds me? Then what, huh? Calm down, calm down. Rafe comes in here, finds... You just tell him that I forced you to change clothes with me. Oh, forced it? Oh, yeah, we're best friends. Like, he's gonna believe that, huh? You know, I thought about that. And I'm sorry about this, but listen, I, uh... <laughs> Want, uh, want me to make some coffee? No, that's all right. Want a shot of brandy? No, thank you. Where could he be? What could they have done with him? At least we didn't find a body. But we found that trail of blood leading outside to nothing. Yeah, but maybe he got into a car at that point, Alex. Maybe he got in or he was forced into it. 
Look, it's a possibility that that wasn't Nat's blood. I know, but it's also... That's right. That's right, that's right. It could be that he got out of there without getting injured. That's true. Yeah, it's a distinct possibility. Oh, these possibilities are driving me crazy. I just wish I could do something. I can't stand this. Well, we, I think the best thing to do is to stay here just in case he calls us back. You know, I am just sick of Carlo Hester. I'm through pretending that I don't know about my father, that I don't know the trouble he's in, and that I don't know that Carlo Hester is responsible for the whole thing. Alex, I think the best thing that you can do right now is to keep pretending. That's exactly what your dad would want you to do. But I don't know if my father is dead or alive. No, I have to do something. I'm going after Carlo. I, uh... I left that message because my friend's flight was delayed, and I didn't want you to worry about CJ and I if we weren't home when you got there. Yeah, right. Listen, I think it's best if we don't get into this right now. Thanks. I feel a little tired. Well, I can certainly understand that. Yeah, but even the idea of staying here till the baby's born kind of sounds good right now. Good. Listen, the only thing you've got to worry about is how much I'm going to spoil CJ. You wouldn't do that. Oh, oh, what was that? Do I detect a smile? There, I think maybe I did. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should <laughs> take a closer look. Oh, there we go. See? I knew I saw a smile. Mm. Court, I'm really feeling tired right now. Okay. Listen, I'm going to check on that room that they're setting up for you, all right? All right. I'm going to make sure it's a nice room with a great view out the windows. You see all the land view. You see what, what's going on. Because you're going to be staying there until the baby's born. Okay? I'll be back. yourself in danger, too. I don't care. I'm going to find out where Carlo is. I'm going to see him, and I'm going to confront him. Would you listen to me for one minute, huh? One lousy minute? Thank you. There is nothing you can say to me that's going to change my mind, but I guess one minute won't make much difference, will it? Hmm. Look, look, I'm sorry that I didn't tell you all about your father a whole lot sooner. But right or wrong, whether I did or didn't, it's over. Okay, it's time to piece everything back together now. But don't put yourself, don't put your dad in even more jeopardy. Oh, he couldn't be in any more jeopardy than he's already in. Well, then what about you? I don't care about me. I can't go on living like this. Look, Alex, we have to find out why Carlo was after your father's formula in the first place. You know, how he plans on using it. We don't even know if he has it or not right now. We have to get proof before we can nail Carlo. We. You don't have to be involved in this, Bo. Oh, what do you think? That I would let you walk out the door if I wasn't involved in this? Oh, we don't really even know if my father got away with the formula. My gut feeling is he got away, that he's okay and he's laying low right now. I really want to believe that. Well, do. Just keep hoping. Keep believing until he can get a hold of us and he can tell us what to do or what not to do okay can you just can you hang on to this hopeless feeling for just a little bit longer all right i have much choice do i if i want to protect my dad yeah that's it that's it you hang in okay you just hang in You're gonna have to take off now, Lucky. It's time for Jake to be arranged. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Uh... Lucky. Excuse me, can I have a few minutes with these two on? What do you think you're doing? Listen, listen, you gotta trust me, this, okay? Please, no. Megan, just no, come on, come on, get out of my way. Come on. Oh. I'm glad the contractions have stopped. I'm glad you're feeling better. No, no, come on, no, 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 it won't be necessary. To, don't get yourself all excited. You won't have to have me kicked out of the hospital. I assure you, I won't overstay my welcome. I've already spoken to Dr. Wolick, and 
He's informed me about his concern about you. I'm concerned as well. I'm glad you're going to stay in the hospital until the birth. It would have been foolish for you to uh, try to run away again. Dangerous for you and the baby. Tina, these are the adoption papers. I must be severe with you on one point only, and then I'll let you get the rest you need. Sir. Get those away from me. Just no, get no, 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 Tina. Me. You must have them. Because if you don't sign them before you go into labor, the police will be waiting for you when you come out of delivery. Thank <laughs> you.